Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to set up class simulation inside of Unreal Engine. So in this video, we'll go over how to make this flag which will blow in the wind. First, I'm going to be making my cloth material in Blender, and then I'm going to import it into Unreal Engine. So first, if we open up Blender, we can delete the default cube. And I'm not going to go over how to use the controls in Blender, but I'm going to quickly go over how I'm going to make my flag. So I'm just going to go Shift A, and I'm going to select a cylinder, and I'm just going to scale it in the X, and in the Y axis. So I've now created the pole for my flag. I'm now gonna create my flag. So to do that, I'm just gonna go Shift A and then look for plane. And then I'm just gonna scale this down a bit and rotate it in the X axis, 90 degrees, and then attach this to my flag pole. Once you're happy with your piece of cloth or flag, just go to edit mode. And then you wanna right click on this and click subdivide, subdivide, subdivide and then subdivide. And then if we head back to object mode, you wanna select your cloth material and then go control A on all transforms. And you wanna do the same with your pole. So now that you've set this up, you want to select the flag and then select the flag pole and then select control P and select parent to object. This will just parent the flag to the flag pole. Then we wanna make sure that these have some materials. So I'm just gonna to go to the material place and I'll call this flag pole and I'll make this material black and I'll select the flag and I'll call this flag color and I'll make the material of this red and now that we've done this we can export it so I'm just going to select my flag and flag pole go to file export export fpx I'm gonna click selected objects only and then select mesh Scroll down to geometry, and for smoothening, you want to select face, and then I'll just call this my flag, and we can export this. So now that we've got our flag, we can import it into Unreal Engine. If you're not using your own flag, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download this flag. So once you have this, just drag it into Unreal, and click scale to mesh, and just click import. So let's go head over to the physics asset of this flag. Then as you can see, this will be the collision of the flag ball. As you can see, it's quite big. So if we just right click on this and then go to add shape and then add a box shape, and then you just want to delete this cylinder. And then you want to just scale this box so it fits around the flagpole. Once you've done this, and then go to window and look for clothing. Then you want to go to section selection and select your flag right click on it and it will create clothing data from section and click create then you want to select this again right click and it will apply clothing data then you want to select active cloth paint and if you scroll down you'll see under tool settings you'll see paint value this will be like how strong the cloth simulation will be on it i found a value of 1800 works well and then you can see the brush radius is quite big, so I'm gonna just decrease it to 50. Then with the brush, you're just gonna paint all the areas that you want it to have cloth simulation on. So once you're happy with this, you can just click deactivate cloth paint, and you'll see that the flag will start to bend. We can then close this, and then you want to drag in your flag material, and it's not visible from one side, so to fix that, you just head to the flag color, scroll down, and then go to two-sided. Just make sure that you click apply after you've clicked two sided so that it will apply this to the flag material. And now if I click play, we should be able to see our flag. And we can also make this flag blow in the wind. If we go to place actors and look for wind direction source, just plug this in here and I'll rotate it so it's facing the direction of my flag. Then if I make the strength and speed of this wind direction, something like a thousand, and then click play we'll be able to see our flag blowing in the wind that's all for this video if you enjoyed like and subscribe and i'll see you next